Good morning, everybody. I am bringing you a new full length bar workout, 45 minutes. This is going to be hip and trunk focused. And there's a lot of combinations, a lot of layers. And you know how I like themes. Things in life rarely come in ones. They come in twos and threes. <laughs> so I'm bringing you this workout from the patio above mine. Because if you follow me personally, you know that my apartment is an absolute wreck after the storm. Um, we wanted to jump in earlier with some new workouts. But this is the first time we've been able to have space to set up. And hopefully there's not a lot of sound distortion because they're still clearing trees off the golf course. Anyway, for this workout, get your water, get your towel, get your hand weights because that's all you're going to need. So come on with me. Let's get ready. Watches are a go. Let's start warming up, okay? Watch it out. Pulling those knees up nice and high into your chest, okay? This is your warm up, this is your minute. And big twist here, big twist through the spine, rotate. And then back to centers, long arms. Rotate it again, four, three, two, one. We're gonna reach and stretch, reach. Long, not holding stretches because we're still getting more. So think about holistic stretching right here, dynamic movement. If it feels good, you're welcome to start to hold a little bit longer in the bottom of the top. Hold it down. And then roll. Shoulders come back. Three and two and one. Time for hand weight. So let me show you what we're gonna do here. We're gonna take head of the weight up, palms rotate down. Head up, palm down. Palm down. Nice and smooth, nice and long. Stopping just about the bottom of your jawline with those weights here in the front. One more and then just palm down, lifting. You're gonna be using threes or twos, threes or fives here. Two more like this. Last one and rotate and rotate. Now we're gonna dig in to those little muscles in the front of your shoulder here. Two, and one. Pulse this here tight. Three, two, one. On the side, same thing. So we're gonna take the head up, palm down. You got that rotation? Head up, palm down. Taking big movements and then digging in nice and small. One more like this. And then just that palm down lift. Keep the neck tall, chin lifted. This is just the beginning. Two more like this. Last one, now rotate, rotate. Three, two, one, pulse, pulse, finger saw, four, three, two, one. Good job. We're going to pull those into the sides for your back so my palms are still facing forward. Pull the shoulder blades in, bottom of the weight together, pull back. Okay, bottom of the weight together, pull back. The more you can hinge, the more you're going to dig into those shoulder blades. So I'm making a V in the front with my weight, keeping my elbow tucked into my rib cage. Pull. Good. Mark, give me two more right here. Two. And one. Change that angle. Bring them all the way in. Nice and wide. Make those field goals. Pinch your shoulder blades together in the back. Good. 
all about changing angles to target everything. Two more right here. Two. And one. We're going to keep a full back. Give me little flexes. We're almost there. Three. Two. And one. Good job. In a tricep. The head of the weight up. In the front. Rotate palms back. I'll turn to the side. Rotate heads up. Palms lift. I've got a nice chainsaw tree grinding soundtrack going this morning. <laughs> Two more like this. Two. And one. And tight in the front. Pump up those biceps just a little bit. Four. Three. Two. One on the back here. Little bend. Squeeze and squeeze. Like I said, combos. Three, two, and one. Rotate straight. Awesome. Here we go. Three, two, one. Hold them high. Three, two, one. Set the hand weights in where you're not going to step on them. Not going to break it to roll those shoulders up, down, and back. Running it ready for standing. Work, okay? <laughs> I'm going to start this thing. Pulse is on the right. So we're just squeezing the seam muscle in, letting it out, in, out, in, out. So we're going to spend about three minutes with your left side as you're stabilizing, working the right, and then we'll switch. So if you want to relevate here, if you've got a good support and good balance, you can relevate on your left foot. Focus down here. Then give me a hold here. Give me a hold. Five, four, three, two, one. We're going to pull into crane pose. So I'm going to step into my support. I'm sinking into my left heel, pushing and pulling in five, two, back, in, side, in, back, in, side, in. Take it slow, back, in, side, in. So I'm asking for a lot of control and a lot of focus here right off the bat. Are you gonna give it, are you gonna leave it here this morning? Or this evening, whenever you choose to tune back into this. And we're gonna make that faster. One, two, one, two, back, two, out, two. Here comes the fire. Back, two, here we go, back and back for four and three and two and hold it here three two one curtsy here step and lift right knee folds in you give me love now unconditional my heart condition nearly critical you make me stronger than i've ever been before Stronger than you've ever been before, okay? That's what you do when you dig into these small muscle groups. Building yourself up one tiny block at a time. Go for that big kick right here. Come on, pick it up. Push. Down. Push. Big kick. Come on. Make sure you have room. Give me one more, just like this. Nice, turning it around. That left leg has got lots of heat in it. Let's see what else we can do. Pulses on the left. It's 
So adjust your focus from one side of the body to the other. So if you want your rhythm here. So we're really working our hips, our stabilizers, in this standing feet work right here. Get ready for your hold. Hold it tight. Three, two, one. Moving into my support so I can do crane on the left side. In, two, out, two. Back, two. Take that tip down, out of control. So we really gotta control on the way in with your movement. Make that faster. And two, boom, two, yep. Control. One, two, yep. One more time. Back two, out two, back on knee, back on knee for four and three and two and one. Here comes curtsy this side. So step, knee pull, step, knee pull. Woo, all that heat feels good, right? That lets you know that you're working in the right places. And you're gonna add me that big kick. Power it out. Control through the right leg, power out. Bring your core into play. Make sure you have room. One more. There we go. Boom. I'm turning into my sport for heel raises, calf raises. Up, two, down, two, up, two, down, two. <sighs> and we're taking it to lift, lower, two. Two, squeeze, lower, two, two, squeeze, lower, two, down, two, up, up, down, two, good. And just lifts. Yes. Almost there, keep it going. Five, four, three, two, Big hold, reach a little higher, squeeze it all in, close the door, speak. Two, and one here is fold over. I'm gonna start with my left leg as my supporting leg, holding into the right. I'm gonna take a lift and a curl down. Okay, lift, curl the toe in, lower down. So big range of motion, squeezing in the top, controlling down. Weight is in your left heel. Belly button in under the ribs. Ooh, goodness. Just lift. Make that range smaller. Just two curls, as high as you can get that knee curl. And curl, give me two more. Two. One, hold it out. Woo. Nice job, we're gonna reset. 
big range of motion. Lift, curl, here and down. When I quit talking is when you know I'm getting challenged. <laughs> All right, just lift, lift, lift. Shift your weight back into your right heel. And knee as high as you can. Pull and push with that toe. Pull and push. Pull. Two more. Two. And one. Pull it out. Ooh, good job. All right, sink into a stretch. Push everything back. Chest toward the knees and toes. Hands to toes. We're gonna set that into a triangle stretch. Other side. Get the water if you need it. Get ready for thighs. Still gonna have some combos for those thighs. I'm gonna start with my right leg out. In wide second position. And we're gonna make sure our knees stay nice and soft because we're gonna rotate into a lunge toward your support. It looks like one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Out. And in, protect those knees, keep them soft. Ooh, isn't this beautiful work on that right thigh? outside outside good now we're gonna relevate into that right foot pulses pulses five four three two one well done we're gonna squeeze everything zip it up tight for a mermaid facing into your support presses for two pulls for two presses for two pulls for two Make sure your knees are really tight together. Push that into the inner thigh. Push two, push two. Pulse, on the bottom only. Pulse, push, push. Five, four, three, two, one. Roll your heels down, up, pop it. Down, up, two, one. Step it out with your lift. Right? Combo is back. One, two, one, two, one, two. So take your time finding each position. Good. And up. Just out, out, good. Dig into those heels. Pulse for three, two, lift, lift, lift. Pulse and pulse. Here's five, four, three, two, one. Good work. I'm gonna pull everything together for V position. Right here, so my heels are gonna make a little V. Lifting, 
Stay here. Last time. Pulse. Pulse. Six, five, four, three, two. Squeezes. Six, five, four, three, two. Hold it here. Five, four, three, two, one. Well done. I'm trying to fix it. And it's my support parallel position. Pull those heels up nice and high. One, two, tuck, lift. One, tuck, back, lift. One, tuck. Tuck. Yep. Pull those ribs in. One, two, hit it. Yep. Come on. And pulse. And pulse. Keep it here. Six, five. Four, three, two, one, tuck it, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold, stay here, you see how I'm shaking? If you're not shaking like this, you're not working something right. Stay, stay. All right, release that. Nice job, everybody, good job. Watch out, dog. <laughs> We're gonna finish that on the floor, okay? Take some water with you. I'm gonna start with right leg out, left leg in. Seated, leg lifts. Are we ready? Watch out, puppy. I'm holding on to my left leg for support. Lift, sweep, in. Lift, sweep, in. You guys, this sucks so bad. Lift, lift, three, two, one. Oh, pull that in, let it out. <laughs> and let's start on the other side. Lift and sweep. Lift and sweep. Back up. <laughs> My assistant does not approve of leg lifts either. Keep it going. Point that toe as hard as you can. Just lift. Here we go. Lift. Lift. Four. Three. Two. One. Oh, big hug in. On that. And then fold that into a butterfly stretch here, a cobbler stretch. Holy smokes, that's all of that for right now because that was just no fun. So let that out. We'll get some more thigh stretches as we get into our plank series here, okay? All right, gear it up for planks. Remember your options. Knees, if you need it. Child pose is always there for you to rest in. Otherwise, we're putting hands underneath shoulders, pulling our hips in line with our neck and the rest of our back, pushing weight out through the heels. We're holding for about five, six more seconds. And we're gonna take eight right knees across. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, pigeon. There you go, enjoy this stretch. I'm 
I'm gonna reach into that thigh a little bit deeper on this side. Big breath in. Exhale. And let's sit it back up for plank again. Eight more seconds, and we'll take those left knees across. Here's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Stretch. Good. Leg up, exhale out as you tighten it up. Here comes your forearm plank. Remember your options. Take that forearm plank on the knees if you need to. We're here for minute. Take as many child's pose resets as you need here. We have 30 more seconds. Chin tucked in tight. We're gonna start with a field goal and then we go into reaches in front. So try and have some space. Exhale here. And out. Exhale here. And out. So my lower body lowers down when I'm reaching forward. Controlling down, kind of hovering. Think about gliding your hands forward, biceps by the ears. One more pull. Hold up and big, big child switch stretch. And bring those palms under your shoulders, arch your back up. One, cat out here, big stretch through the spine. And down, lift. And down, well done. We're gonna stay lifted here. I'm going to support with my left leg. My right leg is going to go out. Just however you want. If you want the bottom of your foot down or the side down, that's up to you. Bring those hands up beside the head for side bends, okay? So we're going to take it to the right. Bend. Pull. And bend. And pull. 
So you're focusing here on the side of your body, trying to scrunch this nice and tight, and then lift from the middle. Don't just rotate with your shoulder. This is actually helping me focus in a little bit more, putting one hand over the belly button, bringing elbow to thigh, and the other arm staying lifted for posture. So you're working both sides of your obliques right here. I'll be quiet for a second. <laughs> Nice, right again. We're going to reset. Other side. That foot down. I'm just going to start with that, with that half and half here. One elbow stays lifted for posture. The other is being my guide and sort of my um, tactile reminder here to engage from the middle. If you feel like you're not getting a good range of motion, try extending your leg out a little bit deeper. There we go. Squeeze here. Tight lift. Your breath away. Good. We're going to bring it around. Putting my left leg down, right leg out again, into that pretzel pose. So we're going to work deep in the hip. Deep in the hip. Squeeze here. Curl here. Squeeze here. Curl here. Squeeze. And curl. And curl. Make sure you see that big lift. You see that? Lift and pull. And just curls. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Reach that long stretch in your side, lock into your hips. Oh, this is nice. Swing it around the other side. Do that again here. Squeeze and curl. And curl. Good. Squeezes and curls. Good job. And just curls. Curl. So focus in. Pull and pull for three and two and one. Stretch. Take it. Nice work. Let's bring it around for bridge pose. I'm going to take it to the side a little bit here. So I'm going to start with my feet together. Actually, feet together, squeeze and down. Lift, squeeze knees and down. Lift, squeeze knees and down. Lift, squeeze knees and down. Feet are together. Bottom of the feet are on the floor. By changing the angle of your foot, you're changing the targeted area of your posterior chain right here. <laughs> I mean your booty, that's what I mean. Your booty and your low back. Good. And down. 
perfect. And now just drive through that foot. Five, four, three, two, and one. Keep them high and squeeze it. Five, four, three, two, one. Knees together, lift, lift. So this is the mermaid bridge. Yes, your thighs should start to be on fire here. Push and push, push. Just keep your legs together if you can. Three, two, and one. Nice job. Peel that in. Hug the knees into the chest. And let's put the bottom of the feet together. Let the knees fall out to the side. Froggy. Froggy. So I like to lay with my palms up here. It's just, a little, just another tactile reminder of how to position my knees. It's just sort of normal for us to want to protect ourselves and close off and just let the knees slowly drift back together. <laughs> this is not the time to unpack conditioning, is it, guys? Sorry. Almost there. All right, hold that up. Five, four, three, two. And one. We're gonna cross this over into a triangle stretch. Happy hips right here. We'll need to stretch. And other side. All right, we're gonna take those combos into the polishing off our core right here. If we're here, it means we've made it. We're almost done. Live it, friend. All right, left leg is out, right leg is bent. We're gonna draw up into that left leg and lower down. So this is not about speed. This is about control, focus. And we're going to take that into a full roll, lift, and down. Again, control. Two more. You got this. Two. And one. Nice job. Pull that one in. Right leg is going out. Take a second to reset your neck if you need to. And pull that right leg up, control back down. One more like this. And then take it into that full row. And control down. Two more like this. There you go. And then pull that in. Hug everything in nice and tight. And we're going to alternate legs in and out. I'm just going to go ahead myself and pull up into the tuck. You can stay relaxed down for about 15 more seconds. Put this way in. We're gonna sit up, rock it up, and hold. And we're controlling, tucking in, rolling back down. Okay? You don't have to move exactly when I move, but I want you to aim for at least three sits right here, at least three lifts. 
and control from the middle back down. This is my last one. It might not be your last one. And then back down. Nice job, everybody. We're going to take this into a good stretch, okay? Cross that leg over. And stretch on the other side. If you stuck with me, you did 40 minutes of core and hip focus bar. Lots of stabilizing work, lots of strengthening work. Don't skip your stretch right here. Reward yourself for some flexibility work at the end. Toes out long. Find your breath, pull it in. I'm pleased as punch. Whether spiked or sparkly. And let's hold one leg and sit out long. If you're the sir, I want the last cards first. Oh, I love it. Cross that over. Pull it tall. Stack it on this side, my left is on top. Left leg is out. So this video will be available for you to replay at your convenience. You might not have joined me personally this way, but whenever you do this workout, let me know. Comment, share. Let me know what your favorite combination was. Or your least favorite. <laughs> Cross that over and twist. And let's fold that down. Thank you so much to all of you who have been supporting these uh, videos with your tips. I see you. I appreciate you. I love you. As always, tips are welcome. Uh, it's paypal.me forward slash stable or I have Venmo. If you want to me for Venmo also. All right. Let's take some mermaid reaches side and side. Reach. Reach. All right, palms down. We're gonna rock it up nice and easy together. One last back and leg stretch. Lengthening the spine. And down. And now we big reach. One more big reach. Just relax and then it back. And let me tell you, just a quick tip. If you're looking for another bar workout to complement this one this week, maybe don't do it tomorrow, but if you do this one in the next couple of days, take a day off in the middle or a cross training day, check out my arms and abs bar workout because that is a great complement to this one. As always, love you guys, appreciate you, and I'll talk to you soon.